obviously we grew up in a part of the world where bass fishing, conventional bass fishing is huge. And it always kind of baffled me, like stigmas, I guess, just thinking that you only fly fish for trout. And I feel like a lot of people look at, oh, that's a smallmouth stream just driving over on the interstate going through a farmer's field. And they're like, yeah, that's terrible. But when you actually get on the water, you get out there, you start experiencing, you're like, this is one of the most beautiful streams I've ever been in my life. We are in Huntsville, Alabama. We're down here chasing a bunch of smallmouth. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna ramble and I'm just gonna let you edit this all together. Oh, that's good. Hell yeah. There's nothing more addicting to me than setting the hook and think I've hooked into a f***ing tree. <laughs> and the next thing I know, that tree takes off downriver. No way! Let's go! Here it is. Oh, here we go. This is what we need. Look out, everybody. Easy. Coming in. I uh, just got to the boat ramp here. Um, looks juicy, man. Uh, nice, nice blue tint to it, like Jerry was telling us. So it's not really off colored by any rain, which we haven't really had any lately. So that's awesome to see. We're hoping to find some smallmouth staged up down here. That's where they kind of were yesterday. They were more in the staging areas, just deep water, uh, near current, but not actually in the current. So this has a lot of the very similar water that we were catching our bigger fish in yesterday. The takeout is now private access, so we can't take out there. That's the bad news. So we just added 4.9 miles to our float. So we're on a different river than yesterday. Uh, Jared's floated this, done this float before. We've got a couple other uh, people that have done it. We know it's a good, good area. Uh, it's a tributary to one of the other big rivers in the area. So uh, we know there's going to be smallmouth bass in there. So we got a late start because we were supposed to only be going four miles. So hopefully it's not after dark, but I have a feeling it's going to be late again. Good shot, Tricky. Hey Jared, I'd like to file a complaint that you took us to a river with no fish in it. Well, this is just like one of those friendly, like, hey, FYI, a formal f a complaint is going to be filed later. I don't know what kind of magic they put in the fly line when they make it, but I get some bulls. People always talk about like eighth, ninth wonders of the world and shit like that. Fly lines, like the tenth wonder of the world. Like I don't understand how it's just not up on itself all the time. It wraps around stuff I didn't even know it was in the boat sometimes. Yeah, we started off with a little bit of white this morning. Uh, white was definitely the color to play yesterday. However, as you uh, can see this with this wonderful lack of sun above us, so we're kind of switching up to a little bit of olive and orange as well as we got a little local intel in this river that crawfish patterns, standard uh, brown and orange are kind of the go-to on this stretch. So we're gonna switch it up. Switch over to our olive and orange Mima, uh, one of our favorite patterns. Thumbbell eyes here to help get it down, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Get him. Nice. He's on. He's on. Going. Oh, there's a net. I was where, where the f are you going? I'm looking for the net. I thought it was like buried underneath everything in the back. Here you go. We're on the board. Nothing big yet. It's kind of a weird time of year. Um, well, I'll take that back. It's the right time of year, but the weather's actually been pretty cool in the southeast. So uh, the fish just aren't, haven't really pushed up out of the main rivers into these tributaries yet. We're not seeing a lot of fish in the summer holding water. All of these are big tri are tributaries that kind of feed in. And in the summertime, a lot of the smallmouth will run up these tributaries. So uh, we're not too, too many river miles from really big water, even though this creek is pretty dang small. So we're really hoping that as we get a little further down, we start running into some of those bigger fish that are kind of staging, waiting to push up in here. Stop, 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 stop. 
What the? F oh, sh there he is again. God damn it. He came out a second time. Jesus Christ, that was a good fish. Whatever, I had my shot at him. Yep. As there was two good ones in there. Are you ready? Three, two, one. His ass in, just so freaking heavy. Hold on, don't, don't, don't move the boat. Just give me a sec. Oh shit, that hurt. Anchor. Oh yeah, give me a second, Adam. Oh, right in the ankle. I definitely want something that's heavy down below this, it looks like. A pretty good deep hole. Let's go left, and we're standing on the fishing right now. I'm sorry, uh, we're using blue line flies, which when used properly, may catch fish. I also like blue line flies. We're a company. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, dude, that's sick. Gosh, these things fight so freaking hard. Nice. Let's fish. go. Good fish. Here we go. Finally on the board today. Camera boat's got a got a fish. Had a nice small. He just hammered the little cooter brown. Finally, just by those logs, came up and crushed it. I was trying not to take you there, and I was like, I don't know what to do. There he goes. Like, Woo. Good fish. Let's go, baby. Well done, Scotty. fish and then he came back yeah. fishing today has been a bit slow um these fish just really haven't gotten into the summer holding patterns yet they're more sitting in either deep cover or deep water here so it's been throwing our fishing off a little bit <laughs> you. thank you nice I was a little worried when we put in, wasn't seeing anything, wasn't hardly anything chasing. Right. But I'm glad it's producing now. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Get the bed, get the bed, get the bed. Let him fight, let him fight, let him fight. Let him fight. Get up on the real leaf. Over here, right back. There you go. Oh, no. So we were floating down through here, and uh, we finally found what we were looking for. We found this guy. This is a brown trout. <laughs> They're native to Alabama and Germany somehow. I'm reading <laughs> online. <laughs> Flies cleared customs. Oh, sweet. <laughs> hey, Scotty, you can finally get some flies now. <laughs> so, hey, everybody out there watching, this was a great day for us. You'll be watching this in the future, so hopefully our <laughs> flies will actually be in stock by then. But our flies just got through customs. That means we're about to get restocked. We are ecstatic to let you guys know that. Go to bluelineflies.com, buy you some of your flavor, favorite flies, and help to support your favorite guys. Are you their favorites? You are not my favorite. I'm out of favorite. I'm out of favorite today. <laughs>
Okay, sorry. I'll retract that last statement. Go out there and just support your favorite degenerate that love to fly fish for smallmouth. <laughs> that sounds more like it. Looking for the Oh, hey, wait, get your rocky to freedom there. Oh, oh, there's seven. Oh, that's a big one next to it. Get out there, Adam. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> Stevens came out and he had no joke like four or five other smallmouth that were roughly the same size. Follow it out. I think I caught the smallest in the group. <laughs> Steven and I just doubled up on smallmouth out of one hole. And uh, as we can see here, they're uh, they're both pretty pretty decent fish. A lot of bronze right there. There we go, Jared. Just keep fighting. I'm coming. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. He's fat. Literally right as Steve and Adam release their fish, freaking Jared gets on a stud over here. Very good, good example of how you know when one part of the stream isn't on fire, doesn't mean the whole stream's down. We got in, we figured it out there in the deeper water. We caught one there, hooked into a second one in the same area, and then we just kept at it. And Jared even pulled even a third one out there. And each fish we got out there actually just kept getting better and better. <laughs> so give every fly that you have, you know, a reasonable amount of time. You know, hit some good structure, hit some good water that it should be effective in. And if it doesn't, don't be afraid to change it up. Unless you're throwing a Mima, and then you don't have to change flies. Fair enough. If they're Fair not enough. eating a Mima, go home. All of an orange, a little chewed up. But check it out, link below. <laughs> I don't know how, how many of you guys are the youngest child in the family. If you're used to not getting the best of everything and always getting secondhand, uh, you'll be able to relax. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. You're onto something. <laughs> uh, anywho, they have a 15 horsepower motor, and we have a trolling motor that. Uh, was not charged last night so we got quite a ways to go and that means that if we don't make it there on this charge we're gonna be rowing that and man it has just been lakey for the last two miles and our uh our trolling motor didn't get charged last night <laughs> so we had, uh, we ran at about half power there for a little bit while Scotty was rowing to help it help us out, but after that it just kind of conked out. So him and I have just been rowing as far as we can before we get too tired and switch up. But <laughs> the end's in sight, boys. She's right there. I cannot be happier. We've got the Polaris today. Uh, this is our shuttle vehicle. All right, we're gonna board him. <laughs> we're just uh, hiking in a little ways. We've got the river right here next to us. There's no good way to access a lot of this water that's not just swim to it. There we go. 